Lazy is a technology hub for who aims to find high-tech solutions to all of life's problems, like looking at the bus timetable app before going out to arrive at the bus stop exactly 10 seconds in advance, or using the Find Taxi app or Uber to call cabs to ensure that the driver doesn't take the long way. However, convinced that technology will change people's lives, Lazy tries to solve any problem on his phone. Despite this attitude, Lazy still uses very low-tech financial services and payment methods. Today, we'll teach Lazy to apply tech to finance. We all know that nothing happens without money. Just as Find Taxi plus technology equals Uber, and delivery plus technology equals Uber Eats, what does finance plus technology equal? It's easy. The answer is fintech. Fintech aims to make your life more efficient, saving you time and money. How does fintech change our lives? The first way is through payments. With e-wallets and mobile payment services like Apple Pay, Line Pay, and Jayco Pay, Lazy can go out without cash. It's now much easier to buy things online, but be careful not to have too much fun. You can also use financial platforms to evaluate credit and easily borrow money at lower rates. Without fintech, you might need to bring a stack of papers to the bank, and by the time you get the money, it's too late. Speed and cost savings are important aspects of fintech. Another one is smart investment. AI can eliminate certain psychological biases, rationally recommending investment directions in portfolios. Nevertheless, it'll still remind you to please read disclosure documents carefully before making any decisions. But Lazy might not even understand the directions to the microwave. FinTech can bring cashless convenience to all aspects of our lives. But that's not all. In fact, it's just a hint of what's to come. Only later will we see the limitless potential of FinTech to transform our lives as more convenient services gradually come online. Due to the sensitivity of money, though, financial regulations are often quite stringent. Strict supervision often has the effect of restricting innovation, which is why the government has carefully designed a regulatory sandbox in which to test new services. The sandbox is like allowing children to build sandcastles under the supervision of an adult. We don't know whether the kids might make a car or the National Palace Museum. One example of a project is selling travel insurance alongside tickets on travel websites, saving customers time and money. Borrowing, saving, wealth management and investment can all be done through fintech. Traditional banks have been forced to transform themselves, focusing more on online banking services and linking with social media. The older banks still have major advantages, though. Fintech is not without its shortcomings. Although mobile payments are very convenient, painless payment can lead to overspending, causing financial burdens, and tech startups still have yet to earn customers' trust. We've seen a number of cases in recent years of hackers stealing virtual currencies, leaving customers in the lurch without any options. Some of us just like the feel of money in our hands and expect service with a warm touch. We need money to be visible and tangible to feel secure, so physical banks won't go away. So we shouldn't feel impatient nor scared of technological changes in finance. Traditional banks, on the other hand, must promptly rise to the occasion. FinTech has already started changing the whole industry and affecting our lives in all sorts of ways.